Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of How to Cook an RV in Canberra with me, Prince Charming. Today, I'll be making a whole 4th of July dinner. I will have a full list of the ingredients posted at the end of the video, so please watch the entire video. For this special day of America, um, in an RV, I want to make something really simple but delicious. So the menu for today will be Russian salad, beef pasta, grilled chicken, and two cocktails. So first, I'm just cutting out carrots and potatoes and red beets for the salad dish. Hmm, okay, what did the colonists wear to the Boston Tea Party? T-shirts! This dish is very simple, but it's very famous and it's yummy. You know what? Let me have you entertained with another joke. What do our flag and a sad candy cane have in common? They're both red, white, and blue. Now I'm cutting the chicken thigh to like four pieces to grill it. Normally, I season my chicken thigh with some pepper. I don't use that much salt, but I use pepper. I also use um, some hot sauce, some ketchup if you want. Yeah, to grill my chicken. And you can also use like paprika. Now I'm gonna have two boiling pots of water and then I'm gonna boil the pasta. And then the other pot I'm gonna use to boil the vegetables that I cut earlier the red beets, the potatoes, and the carrots. And if you like the cooking in a camper segment, then please click like on this video. And if you haven't, then subscribe to Shrek Travel to watch more videos of RV life, camper life, and more cooking videos with me, Prince Charming. Okay, after we boil the vegetables, I'm gonna use some Japanese mayo. You can use American mayo if you like, but I use Japanese mayo because of that sweetness in the mayo. And then just a little bit of black pepper. And that's about it. I mean, I use a little bit more hot sauce and you can choose to use that or not, but it's basically just mayo and black pepper. And now I'm shaking this bowl up. For the pasta dish, I'm just um, putting the my washed broccoli inside and then just stir fry it. And then I put in some beef. You can season your beef with some salt and pepper. I only season it with pepper. After stir frying the beef and the broccoli, I put in my spaghetti pasta. And then just mixing it up, 
I usually season this with salt and pepper and some ketchup, some hot sauce. You know, it's really up to your liking. Sometimes they even put mayo in. So, you know, just uh, use the uh, seasoning and adjust them to your likings. Now I'm gonna grill the chicken. This is a grill that I bought so that I can grill on the stove. It's not like in a backyard grill, but I think it works pretty well. So grilling chicken totally on this grill, it takes me about 20 minutes. And just after five minutes, I um, flip the chicken so it doesn't get burnt. I prefer my chicken like more healthy so I don't season it a lot but if you like you can even put honey on you can put hot sauce or ketchup whatever you like and for this event 4th of July I'm gonna make two cocktails one red and one blue so first I'm putting some raspberry syrup on the first glass and for uh, the second glass I'm putting blueberry syrup And then I add some vodka, some white vodka. And if you don't like alcohol, you can just put soda in, but I put vodka. And then just fill it with ice cubes like that. All right. Welcome, enjoy the food, and I hope you have a super, super awesome day. Super, super awesome holiday. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Happy camping also, but don't forget the list of ingredients are going to be right after this. Enjoy the food. Thank you so much for watching the video. Here is the list of all the ingredients I used. And remember, cooking in your RV and camper is very easy and you can always have amazing food. Thanks for watching. Happy camping. This is Prince Charming Shrek Travel.